This young man was one of many in Charlotte lost to gun violence in 2019, leaving a huge impact on their loved one left, left behind, in particular other children. Yes, yeah, surviving kids face a more complicated path to healing than adults do. And Channel 9's veteran crime reporter Glenn Counts learned it's a journey they don't have to take alone. Yeah, we were pretty close, but like me and him used to play basketball in the driveway a lot. Don Quell Davis used to share this bedroom with his brother. Now the 16-year-old has turned it into a shrine. Don Quavius Davis was Charlotte's 42nd murder victim of 2019. He was gunned down after an argument at a pool party. I just try to keep my head up because I know that he would want me to. Although Don Quell is a strong kid, grief has taken its toll. For example, basketball is the love of his life, a love he picked up from his brother. He sat this season out because the loss is just too painful. Uh, I felt like it, it was too soon, and I knew that if I was to get back out there, it wouldn't really feel the same because, yeah, my brother, he wasn't there. Everyone grieves in these situations, but children and teens require special help. And with the murder rate growing so rapidly last year, it resulted in an explosion of kids needing help. So we see change in friendships, we see change in school. Michelle um, Goins is with Kindermorn, an organization that helps yeah, children and yeah, parents grieve. So they get to sit in a room with other kids who are their age or close to their age, who understand without much having to be said. Don Quell is a student at Porter Ridge High. He says while most of his classmates are sympathetic, others have been downright cruel. Yeah, he was basically saying, I'm smart in math. I'm smart in math. And then the other kid, he was like, his brother isn't, because he was trying to make a remark, because he's dead, basically. Don Quell got angry, which is the number one emotion therapists see in kids who have lost loved ones. Especially for children who are expected to still go to school and follow the rules and sit quiet and walk in line and be nice to their neighbor when their life has fallen apart. Uh, me knowing that, like, can't be able to call them, give them a call no more, uh, have a conversation, not be able to see him at none of my games or whatever. And that's you and him. Huh? Yeah. But his brother did leave a gift behind, an example to follow. Don Quavius was the type of person who would mow the yards of elderly neighbors for free and was interested in basketball, rugby, and music, all footsteps Don Quell wants to follow by graduating and heading to college. My brother, he had a purpose, and I know that I have one too. So for everybody out there who lost somebody, you just know that you have a purpose also. In Charlotte, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. If you need some help with grief or a mental health issue, we have a county-by-county -county guide of local resources inside Glenn's report on the WSOC News app.